Acts chapter 25. This chapter speaks to me of the divine providence of God and it begins by finding that Paul was still imprisoned in Caesarea where he'd been for two years at the behest of Felix who history teaches us was a corrupt Roman governor and Felix was keeping him there because he was hoping that Paul was going to offer him a bribe. However this probably saved Paul's life um, because the Jewish leaders had brought false accusations against Paul and just wanted him dead. But at the start of Acts, we see that Felix was succeeded by Festus, who conversely had a reputation of being a fair and conscientious Roman governor. The Jewish leaders, even after all this time, appealed to Festus to send Paul to Jerusalem to be tried on the false um, charges, knowing full well that they had no substance. But they were instead planning to ambush Paul en route and just kill him outright. However, Paul, as a Roman citizen, was able to avoid this and appealed to be tried in Rome by Caesar. So, um, Psalm 139, 16 tells us that all the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. God wanted Paul to go to Rome and he made a way for this to happen. So I can look back on my own life and see how God's divine providence has protected me and directed my steps. And just one of many examples was when I applied for a job that I really wanted and I'd interviewed well and I thought I was going to get it and I didn't. And I was initially really disappointed until out of the blue I was offered a far better role in a Christian context where I was even able to preach the gospel in the work setting. And this proved to be one of the most fruitful times of my, Christi of my, of my life, my career. Um, so my question to you today is this. Can you recall times in your own life when you have experienced God's divine providence? Let's thank him for this. Have a good day.